Okay, so in this video, I'll be presenting about the first assignment of database, which is the first question is to identify the main entity type and for each entity, list out at least three attributes. So, first, first thing I found out is the branch entity, which has branch name, address, and branch telephone number, which I can find in here branch. This is the entity and particular city and identified by its unique name. And the second one is the customer. The customer has the attribute of customer ID, customer name, customer address, customer account. For the primary key, it will be the customer ID. Why? Because it's stated here. Bank customer are identified by their customer ID value. And the rest of the attribute are found in the highlight, highlighted place here customer name, address, and the account. The third one will be the bank officer, which is the employee. And the attribute will be employee ID, employee name, employee telephone number, employee manager ID, employee start date. For the primary key, it will be the employee ID, and it's stated here also. Bank officers are identified by their employee ID. So the fourth is the bank account, which has the attribute of account number, account balance, and account access date. The primary key will be the account number. As you can see here, customer can hold both account. Uh, this one is will be the subclasses, and here each account is assigned a unique account number. And this will be the key, primary key. And so, move on to the fifth one, which will be the loan. The attribute will be loan number, loan amount, loan payment, and payment date. And it's stated all in here, in this paragraph. And a loan is identified with a unique number. And it store the bank keep the track of the loan amount and loan payment and here will be a, another entity about payment which is a weak entity and its attribute will be payment date payment amount and payment id which stated here the date and amount are recorded for each payment date and amount Okay, so this will be the ER diagram that based on the paragraph above. And as you can see, there is the six entities, which is the branch, employee, loan, payment, customer, and account. So as we go for the first is branch toward the customers. It has the relationship of branch has customers. And its multiplicity will be one branch will have one too many customers and vice versa if one too many customer will have one only one branch and looking forward to the account and their relationship toward branch is branch offers account and the multiplicity will be one one and only one branch will have one to many account and there is subclasses for the account which will be the saving account and the account so it means that the customer will have both uh, saving account and current account at the same time or just one either one saving account or current account so here will be the category of and going to the customer and account relationship it will be the account are hold by customers and their multiplicity will be one towards many customers that can hold one or even more account and the next one will be the employee and branches so employee works at branch and the multiplicity will be one 
towards many employees will be working on only one branch. And here we need recursive relationship as I found out on here. Here. And the idea of the employee manager, which I think it means that the manager are managing the employee in a same branch. So the multiplicity will be one or more manager. I mean, one or more officer will be managed by one uh, employee manager. So, looking down to the loan, the loan relationship towards employee will be and the employee track loan. And their multiplicity will be one to many employees are able to track one or many loan. One to many loan. So in the loan entity, it has two subclass, which is which are the housing loan and vehicle loans, and uh, which means the customer will either have housing loan or the vehicle loan. And uh, talking about the customer. The relationship, their relationship towards the loan will be the customer health loan, and one customer will will only be able to hold only one loan. So their multipl multiplicity will be one towards one, or for the customer, and one towards one for the loan. And as for the payment, the relationship towards loan will be loan has payment. And its multiplicity will be one towards one loan has one towards many payment, which means that a loan will be will have multiple payment happens. And as for the final one is the branch and the loan. Their relationship will be branch offer loan. So one branch will offer one towards many loan. So that's pretty much it for the ER diagram. Thank you for watching.